What's up guys, Shane here with Fugitive 3 d Printing and today we're going to check out the March Maker Box. So welcome back guys, like I said, today we're going to check out the March Maker Box. I really enjoy this box, I have to say. It is so much fun to print with and the things that you get with it, you never know. I mean, last month's that Bronzeville filament was just absolutely amazing and I would never have any other chance to test out that filament if it wasn't for this box. Now, they're not paying me to say that. I don't get these boxes for free. I pay with this out of my money every month. If you guys want to help support me get this box, you can use my link down below and there's a coupon code. You get 15% off your first box and that way after so many people use that code, I end up getting half the box or the whole box. Uh, most I've ever gotten so far is half the box. You know, I'm not going to hold anything from you guys. Uh, so that means I think three people had used it uh, a few months ago. Uh, but since then, there hasn't been anything. But that's okay. Uh, again, I will always make these videos. I will always keep buying this because I find this so educational for me to test out and try all these different filaments. Okay, here we are. And it looks like there's going to be some fun filaments in here this month. The very first one is Carbon Fiber PLA by 3DX Tech. So I've used some of their filaments before, but Carbon Fiber I have not printed with yet. This is gonna be cool. Let's go through the settings. Hot end temperature, 190, 220 degrees centigrade. Bed temperature, 25 to 60 centigrade. Speed, 40 to 60 millimeters a second. Info, an abrasive, all in caps, carbon fiber reinforced ABS filament ideal for structural components. So this is interesting because it says carbon fiber PLA, but it says it's a reinforced ABS and it prints at carbon at uh, PLA temperatures. I'm not sure what to talk about that. Uh, again, bottom $5 off coupon down there, but it's a nice flat black. Again, have not printed with this before. This will be a great learning experience for me. I'm excited. And now by far, probably my favorite type of filament to print with is wood filament and this is wood fill PLA from push plastic again I just thoroughly enjoy wood filament it's so much fun to print with to smell it when it prints uh, there was the uh, easy wood from I forget who and that smelled like a pine tree I mean it just was amazing but let's go through the settings on this it's a wood fill PLA hot in temperature 195 to 215 C so again it's a wide range but you normally will print wood at a lower temperature normally bed temperature 50 to 70 C speed 40 60 millimeters second info a wood filled PLA that can be sanded and stained now on some of these this one's really coarse very coarse actually now some of the wood filaments that I've used almost have a plasticky feel to them and you kind of wonder what the actual plastic to wood like sawdust or whatever type of uh, dust they use in here uh, what the ratio is if it's higher plastic or lower I think normally it's like 60 40 to 70 30 somewhere in that 10 percent range I'm not 100 sure what theirs is I think it's probably gonna be a little higher just from the way it feels. Oh, down below, again, the coupon. All these bags have coupons on them. I don't show them. I don't know if I should. Uh, probably not because you're supposed to subscribe in order to get the discount, but at least you get the 50% off in the month. Anyways, I'm excited. I love wood filament and this will come out hopefully really nice. I have yet to sand and stain a print. Maybe this will be the week, the month. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, and here we have Ninja Flex by Ninja Tech, and this is in a gray. Let's see, the print settings, hot in temperature 225 to 235, bed temperature 0 to 40 C, speed 10 to 35, Ninja Flex, and this is a uh, super flex, not a semi flex. You definitely need to print this slow. No matter what extruder you're using, you need to print it slow. Info, tried using a glue stick or blue painter's tape to aid in bed adhesion. So I'll probably end up print printing this on glass, and I'll be using my E3D Titan extruders to put this out. I wish I had one of those Flexion extruders, which are supposed to be fantastic. I mean, they're built, they're called Flexion for printing flex material. And that would be really cool to have, but I don't have one. So I will get this printed out and hopefully this comes out well. The last Ninja Flex was a semi flex that I had and that printed out fantastically because it was so stiff, even though it was a flexible. Now this is kind of like super floppy, like the Make Shaper TPU that I just recently printed with. So we'll have to maybe use those settings to try this out first. But again, another awesome filament to try and test out and to learn from. <laughs> so this is pretty funny. So this is Pearl PLA from Toner Plastics. And I laugh because I received a spool of this from Toner Plastics about a month and a half ago. I did the review and I'm actually working on editing that video right now 
to publish next week. So that's real funny. I'll link the, the video up here so you guys can see that, but let's go over this for everyone who's just watching this MakerBox video. And the print settings are hot in temperature of 230 to 250. I said it was a PLA, it's a high temp PLA. It prints at almost uh, you know, the ABS uh, PET-G range, but you can print it at 210, which is what I printed it at. Bed temperature 70 to 90 C. I did it at 60C, it was no problem whatsoever. The speed, 40, 60 millimeters a second. Info, a high gloss PLA and polyester blend gives models a nice pearl finish. And there is a $5 coupon to use at the store. I'll tell you right off the bat, this stuff prints amazingly. The, the settings on here I don't necessarily agree with. I think they're a little high. I use 60C bed on build tack at 210 degrees centigrade on the hot end. That was no problem whatsoever, but it came out great. When you use white filament, just kind of a little pro tip for you guys, or a YouTuber tip, I guess, not pro tip, not a pro. But anyways, when you're doing any type of white filaments or very, very light colored filaments, make sure your hot end is super duper clean. If not, you're going to get some discoloration in your prints. That's just a guarantee. I've seen it with some of my clean nozzles, a brand new nozzle printing white comes out great. Dirty nozzle, some things are gonna drip off, especially if you're gonna be trying to print this at those high temps. But that is all four filaments. I'm excited. Again, three of these filaments are gonna be fun. The one I already know how it's gonna turn out. Kind of like last month with the high, the HD glass. Again, I'm super excited. This will be great. Let's do some time lapses and let's talk about all these prints. All right, so those time lapses went really well. I had a few issues with the G-Tech again, but that's this totally separate topic. Now, I told you guys I was gonna be showing you guys a new filament holder, spool holder, every month. I did not last month, and I wanted to this month, and I had used this one before, but I never showed it to you guys, as far as I can remember without going back to the archives. And this one, I really like, but I ended up breaking it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and how I broke it. Okay, so here's the spool holder, and as you can see here, it's broken. Now this is an unbroken arm. See how far down it comes? It goes out there pretty far. And I have that in all the way. You can see here's the different holes that you can mount it in. Now, this was a little too long for all of them, so I went ahead and cut this one down. As you can see, I only had one hole holding it in, and it slid in all the way down to there, and that's where it came to. This is pretty good. The one hole up would have been better if I would have used this one right here, but that's not what I did right now, and again, if I, I want to go back and fix this. So I really like how it's these interchangeable arms that you can move and slide however you need them to. I don't like how they're too long, and I don't like how they mount with these only single holes or two holes. I got lazy here and tried bending it a bit, and it broke it. So having two of them, at this point where font was fine and then this third one just was a little bit more shallow than the other two and this worked out really really well for tons of different filaments all the maker box filaments fit on this without problem but again i broke it so i need to edit this stl chop these down and add a second hole onto here and i want to use different type of screws so i might want to look into a thumb screw style in order to make one or two of these or two of them easy to come off or shave down as you see this is like a u shape here shave this down a little bit so you could twist one sideways or twist them all sideways and then lock them down with two screws. So there's a lot of different options I could do to play with this. And again, I just need to sit down and actually work on it one day. But if any of you know me, I'm horrible at designing. It takes me forever to work on anything. So it might be something in the future. But anyways, I'll put a link down below. I really like this, but it does need some work to work better with the MakerBox filaments. All right, onto the filaments. Up first here, we have Toner Plastics Pearl PLA. And this just was beautiful awesome side layers. The bottom is something to be desired. It didn't turn out as good as I was expecting. Oh, I left a piece of support in there. See how easy that just pops right off there like that. There's a little bit of issues here on the overhang when it goes up and a lot of PLAs have that issue so it's kind of to be expected but the bottom layer came out great. Sidewalls look beautiful. Top layers look absolutely beautiful as well. I really like this filament. Uh, if you guys want to you'll see my review either when this is posted or after this is posted. It all depends when I get around to posting it but I have a four on this filament so please go ahead and check that out. Okay up next here we have the wood fill PLA by Push Plastic and this stuff again turned out absolutely fantastic except right here this one actually stops so this is one of the issues I have with the G-Tech. The current board that's on it I'm getting firmware issues and I have to print from USB so it is saying firmware is unresponsive. 
I finally just got new parts in today, so hopefully I can get around this, but nothing yet. Either way, here's the finished print, and it looks great. I did not have to change any of the temperatures during the print in order to get different colors. You probably could much easier with this filament, but if you look at the sidewalls here, they just look absolutely fantastic. Couldn't be happier. Bottom layers, great. Here again, the little bit of issues, but this is a very easily sandable filament, and you can sand this down, putty it, do whatever you want if you wanted to finish this up on a print, and it would come out just great. I will also say that printing this filament gives an excellent excellent aroma of wood and I just <laughs> I love that so much it's so cool to be able to print with this stuff so I highly recommend checking this filament out it worked out great super easy to print with easy settings very forgiving so great stuff okay now we have the gray ninja flex from ninja tech and this is so cool because you can do this ah crush it crush it crush it and it goes right back this is a super flex material this is not a semi flex I call it super flex I don't know if that's a real name but I call it super flex and it just absolutely turned out great there's a little bit of pimpling and a little bit of stringing I am getting better at printing with flexible filament I'm getting there but I'm not there yet I will be hopefully one day soon I'll be able to print these much better but still sidewalls came out great a little bit of the pimplings here it's a little bit of my retraction settings but this is printed 15 millimeters a second it took seven hours okay the normal maker coin takes with a PLA or PETG takes not even two hours. This one took over seven hours, so that's crazy. Bottom layers were okay. I was a little far away apparently here, and a few of these outer strings actually pulled right off, that like the perimeter right here came off. Not a huge issue, but you know, something again I need to be careful about. Now if you look here, there's no support used with this Ninja Flex because flexible material will fuse to itself just like it would if it was a regular print. Even with support, no matter what the settings are, it will fuse to itself. Sorry, it's not focusing. So I printed this without any support whatsoever and even these walls here actually came out better than they do with standard PLA if you look at the difference there so let's look at uh, okay if you look at the differences here no issues issues see the difference seeing is believing when it comes to this kind of stuff here again with the pearl see the issues on here you don't see the issues here. The Ninja Flex behaved very, very well. I'm very impressed with it. I would love to try and get some more of this to print with and learn a little bit more. But again, this is a learning experience. This is why I bought the Maker Box. This is why I buy it every month to learn how to print with these different materials. And finally, my first time printing with carbon fiber PLA from 3DX Tech, and it came out again fantastic. I did have a firmware issue on the GTEC, so my first print failed. This is the second print, which again, not the filament's fault, totally my printer, and it came out great somehow there was a white piece of filament in there somewhere <laughs> i don't know where that came from but that was there it handled this better than a standard pla but you can see there's still a little bit of issues on that extreme overhang not even sorry, overhang it's just rounding up over that cog in here where the supports were came out rather well actually i'm pretty impressed with that bottom layer beautiful this stuff lays down so nice i've never printed with any carbon fiber before the sidewalls i mean also turned out absolutely great i'm very happy with this and I cannot wait to print with more of this carbon fiber material. So there you have it guys. I was super impressed with the filaments that came this month so thank you MakerBox for putting together an excellent excellent assortment of filaments. The more wood filaments you have, the happier I will be because this is by far my favorite material to print of any of the materials I've printed thus far. Carbon fiber is pretty cool, but I tell you, wood, when you print it and you just stand by your printer and you just smell it, it just, it's absolutely amazing so i really enjoy that again all these prints came out great i am learning more as i go through this experience of MakerBox and experiencing the new filaments it's great stuff i highly recommend it to you guys if you're serious about 3d printing learning new materials and want to do it for basically it's the price of a spool of a, a very cheap pla 19 dollars for here in the US for the monthly box. You get a 15% discount using my code down below in your first box. You can't beat that with a stick because they only give you 10% on the website for your first box. And it helps me out as well. So as like I said, you really cannot beat this experience on testing out these filaments for yourself and learning about them and then seeing if you know, do I really want to buy this? Do I not? Is this something that I have a use for? Wood filaments, I've got tons of use for. I love printing all kinds of things with the wood. And I said I had a filament review on this one alone. So all great stuff, very cool. If you guys are interested in any of this, links will be down below for everything that you've seen and where you can subscribe to the MakerBox and again, my coupon code down below. So and hope you guys enjoy it. That wraps it up guys. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Let me know why down below. I'd love to hear from you. All the comments really let me know that you guys are interacting with me. I get to interact with you. I can tell what content's working, what isn't. So please let me know. I love hearing from you guys. 
If you want to support the channel, lots of ways to do it. Subscribe down below. Hit the little bell icon. You get a notification anytime I post up a new video. There's going to be a Patreon link down here. You can donate me a dollar more. Greatly appreciate it. My current Patreons, thank you guys for your support. It's truly awesome that you guys want to send me your money to do what I love doing, making videos for you guys here. It's just truly awesome. I thank you so much for that. If you guys want to help me out without spending your money, down below, lots of affiliate links that you can use. Also, the MakerBox coupon code helps me get the boxes at a discounted rate. It hasn't happened much before, so not many people are using it, but hey, if you want to use it, if you want to help me out, all the links for that stuff's down below. Again, the affiliate links really help pay for a lot of the content that I'm able to put out there. So thank you guys for using all of that. Until next time, guys, happy printing.